Chapter number three is the worst yeah. Harry Potter character. Yeah. I was between two picks here. Y'all want to hear my other pick too? Because that was just as controversial for me. I was I almost going to pick Dumbledore. Okay. Okay. I don't have any honorable mentions here because I, like, actually, just, you know what? I have a I have a couple of dishonorable mentions now that I think about it. Uh, fuck you, Lucius Malfoy. Um, he wasn't terrible, but fuck him. Um, personally, <laughs> fuck you, Victor Crumb, because he came in the movie and stole Hermione. Um, that was a personal issue with me. Um, and then fuck you. Uh, <laughs> listen, fuck you. Okay. Listen, fuck you, Cho. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Fuck Cho Chang. Because she ratted them bitches out. I don't give a shit if it's a certain... It's only in the movie. It's not I, I, in the book. Don't at, at me. I'm like, still, it's, hey. still, it's, still, it's still there. It happened. Listen. That's not my, fair. My she pick, was forced. That's I don't give fault. a shit. I don't give a shit. My you would have did the, it too. My pick for the exactly. worst... I'd have died. I don't know. That's not how that works. No, you my, wouldn't. Yeah. My pick for the worst Harry Potter character ever is the man himself, Harry fucking Potter. All right. Fuck him. Listen. All the bad shit that happened is a result of Harry sticking his fucking nose where it doesn't need to be. Harry did not need to go to the fucking, the, the, where the mirror of air said was and take on Professor Quirrell. They told him, stay away from this shit. He didn't listen. Okay. He didn't have to go into the Chamber of Secrets. Dobby tried keeping that motherfucker from Hogwarts. He didn't listen. Okay. I don't blame him for the whole serious black shit going to, going to see his uncle. That that was a weird situation, and, and someone involved in that is is to be mentioned later. Listen, you all must not be named. Uh, I think Harry Potter personally was, in my opinion, he was he he was the worst part about the the Harry Potter experience because I think Harry Potter was too busy trying to he tried to save the day. Too many times. And I get it. Harry Potter's a hero. That's why he got put into Gryffindor. That's why, you know, it, that's why Dumbledore essentially chose him to like, and even though it's, you know, he's a good fucking wizard and all that shit. I just don't, Harry Potter to me is the reason all the bad shit happens to his friends. How many friends almost die because of Harry? A lot of them. Um, you know, he, he, he had to do the thing at the end where he had to sacrifice himself to be the final Horcrux. Whatever. Um, well, second to last one, bro. Uh, whatever. <laughs> but listen. Wow. So you were ever, whatever a sacrifice. I'm sacrificing myself. I'm gonna fuck you. Whatever. All right. <laughs> like really? Listen. Listen. Yeah. 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 yeah have fun, dying, bitch. <laughs> and people, people did what people did whatever it took to help Harry out, for better or for worse. You know. And my pit. I'm. It's controversial, and it sounds crazy. But I think Harry Potter is the worst character. Very big Harry Potter fan. Large. Um, I, to be honest, to this day, I I'm probably about once a week, if not more often, I'm in a clubhouse room for Harry Potter fans. Um, and we talk about shit. And I realize how many people dislike Harry Potter. Okay, the actual character. They think that like pretty much what Evan is saying um however i feel like people tend to be really fucking hard on a fucking teenager who didn't know none of this shit existed two months ago and got put in the of okay so that's okay. book one I, 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 just, I gave you your time <laughs> so year one did he get into some shit Absolutely. But he got into that room by accident because he was hiding. Two, he literally had never seen his fucking parents before then. No pictures, no fucking nothing. Petunia ain't show him shit. Okay? So you can't blame him for being obsessed with probably the only thing that could give him some type of connection to his parents. After only finding out maybe two months ago, they didn't die the way he thought they did. He's 12. Oh, correction, 11 give him some fucking slack okay and then the second year you yeah. can't blame him he's here yeah. he's like yo what the fuck is this does anybody else hear this do you hear this no you don't hear this i should hide like you guys have to understand the entire time he's working with a handicap he never knows of the shit about the wizarding world that everyone else knows this is why he needs help to begin with he's like oh i can't tell them i'm a part i, I can speak to snakes because that oh that's bad right now okay but we'll tell him 
Oh, okay. But now you need me to use it to save your life. So now it's okay. Like, to be honest, Harry Potter was a pawn used by everybody else to defeat Voldemort. He didn't even know the motherfucker existed. And to be honest, he probably could have went his whole life without knowing if Voldemort would have just stayed away. They could have just went their different ways. I know you can't have that because of the prophecy, etc. But for real, for real, if you went with Dumbledore, I would have supported you a little bit more. But Harry Potter, it's not his fucking fault. Okay. Some what is that saying? Um, some are born into greatness, some seek it, and some have it thrust upon them. He's the latter. Okay. He has no choice but to be a part of all of this shit. Whether he looks for it or they come for him, either way, it's gonna be at his at him to the handle. Does he need help? Yes. Does that make him horrible for needing help? No, they didn't have to offer the help. He ain't beg nobody. He ain't force nobody. Most of the time he said, don't come. And they came anyway. So if we're going to blame anybody, why are we blaming him? It's the dumbass pick. I don't give a damn who. who. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn who. He said it's so calm. <laughs> I don't give a damn who. Listen, and I actually hope, Cam, your your uh, clubhouse friends watch this. That's a dumbass pick. You think Harry Potter is a, a fucking... They will come for you like fire. Okay, so maybe not. Let go for I'm that. a phoenix, like, motherfucker. I'm reborn from flame. I will not save you from that. Because like, <laughs> I understand the logic behind. I, but I, again, I think it's being superficial to the fact that this is a teenage kid who needs help. Like, why is why is that not okay? So the name of the horrible character, because Kim, you took damn near all everything I was going to say. Like he was forced. <laughs> into, he was forced into this life. His parents got murked. He, he could pick up the scar, and then then uh, then uh, they came for him. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I mean, <laughs> every fucking year they came for him. <laughs> yeah, they, they, oh they, yeah, they, they were relentless. Yeah. Fucking year off. Like, yeah, so, they so, were relentless. So they came. They, they came for him, and and he had to go through that. And, and it came. I'm gonna say that too. He normally told them, "Yo, yo, listen, this is my fight. Y'all back your ass up." No, no. Yeah, listen, and they're I, like, "Nah, we I, gotta come with you. We're your friends." When we mm. said the best Harry Potter, uh, best, sorry, when we said the best friend, the best fictional best friends, and we when we said uh, Hermione and, and, and Ron, they, 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 listen, they ride us. Listen, I, I know some people like, listen, you're not going by yourself. Not, not good. Listen, you go. We, we're going. We're going. So it is. What, so he didn't force anybody to do it. They came on their own. Oh yeah, you get respect for being a rider, but you don't get to put it on the person you wrote yeah. for. Yeah, actually, yeah, Cam was uh, pretty thorough in <laughs> her analysis. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with both of y'all. Yeah, fucking, don't get me wrong. Harry Potter is, you know, especially beginning, he's whiny and a little annoying. You know? But he's definitely not the worst. He's definitely not the worst character at all. You know, and he's one of the few, and and the only person besides Dumbledore to actually step to Voldemort multiple times. No, he has some. Oh, look! Look, he has some balls. Okay, I'll give him that. You know. So, but yeah, he's definitely. Not, you know, yeah. You know, and unlike some of the other characters, you know, he actually you know, kind of grew up and matured more over time. Yeah, unlike a character I'm going to name later. That is a good point, he, CJ. Yeah. He was forced to mature a lot faster. Bro, no, no, I never said it. No, no, I pretty much said everything I had to say. His. Yeah, like no, he yeah, he started off as a little fucking punk, you know, annoying as shit, but no, he grew up and matured and actually, you know, yeah, and actually was he a punk? Huh? Was he a punk? Like like I also realized at the beginning he didn't have to give up the money. At the beginning, was he a punk though? What made him a punk? He he went actually no, 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 his no, his best friend was a punk. No, he was actually pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't back down from yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 you know, he was just no, he was just annoying. His best friend was a punk. Ron was the one that sacrificed himself in the wizard's chest so Harry could go on. He didn't want to that be there. Was the later. He didn't want to be in the first place. Yeah. Yes. He's a writer. Yeah, he didn't want to go. He, <laughs> no, yeah, he, yes. he wasn't for Hermione getting him through yeah. the vines. He went and got yeah. No, yeah. 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 Hermione pretty much drug him there. And then he was the only one who could do it. Yeah. Just because you could so, do it. So, you so do either, it. Yeah. So either they, yeah, either, they stay, yeah, either they stand there in the dark right, or he tries to do something. As far as for Harry, I knew I was writing for Harry as soon as he was like, I think I could choose my friends for my own. Thanks. I was just like, that's right. Bam. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When he, when he, shush, he shooed Malfoy off, though. He was that just was like, there. yes. <laughs> All right. See, I like Harry from there. Yeah, from right there. I was like, yes, he cool. All right. First, I got some honorable mentions. 
Yeah, obviously, Ron, Ron Weasley, mm-hmm. as a bad fuck a little punk, fuck a little punk ass bitch. Mm. Oh, yo, he, 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 bitch, he, he, bitch. No, yeah, bitch. He, yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, yo, yo, no, he a coward. He a coward little punk, just like his daddy. Okay, well, yo, fuck him. Yo, and honestly, besides from the twins. All the Weasleys eat a fat whoa, dick. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, besides, whoa, whoa. Besides from the twins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Besides from the twins. Whoa. No. No. Wait no. a minute. Ginny? The, the no. mom? Ginny? The mom. Fuck the mom. Oh. Look, look. Oh. Dude, they, dude, they pour, look, they pour shit. Kids. These no. are not what we're debating. They're honorable. No, it's my look. daughter, you bitch. She did one thing. One. <laughs> no. yeah. Except for the one thing should have been I, doing is working. I think that argument no. was coming. No. I know no. people she who also do not like my Molly Weasley. No, no, no. Hey, no, no. Look, hey, let me finish. No. No, like at all. No, they poor as shit, but sh- this bitch won't get a job. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> See? Yeah. But, but she ain't gonna work. <laughs> what is she doing? No, no, no. What is she? What is she doing all day? You are so it's, old. Show as hell ain't Thank cleaning. You. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. She home all day and don't okay, clean shit. Their house is filthy. Is not like, their house is filthy as shit. The bitch need to conjure a job if I help the motherfuckers out. Oh, oh, no. yeah. With Guardian no. Employosa. All right, my other, my other time I'll mention is uh, Mr. Filch. Oh, yeah, he a bitch. Yeah, he, oh, he, uh, fuck he it. a fucking sorry fuck ass, ass uh, fucking snitch. Uh, fuck it, dude, you know, bitch ass. ass. Hell yeah! Sitting there, you know, sitting there for hours, staring at the wall, waiting to come out. Like, you know, bitch, get a, get a life. You know, do, he's do your dedicated job. to his job. Yeah, he dedicated to snitching. Fuck him. There's children. Yeah, he, uh, shit, that's I, yeah, I hope he. Uh, I hope he shits up to death. His cat eat him. He just saying like crabbing oil. These, these, you know, they have no thought of their own, no personality, just a couple of yes men. Uh, uh, no, there's I dude, I don't even know how to describe how fucking stupid and useless they are. Nobody. No, uh, it's just you know ooh, if they weren't in the story at all, wouldn't even notice. Wouldn't make wouldn't make That's much. It's kind of not true. They're the ones that had to eat no. the cupcake to get the polyjuice potion, dog. That doesn't make them good. You no, know, you know, they they gonna, they gonna, no, they're gonna do that with anybody in this house. Any Slytherin would have worked. I don't know. I don't know if they Draco just would. Ta- I don't know if Draco yeah, would talk to every just, single dude. Slytherin. Yeah, they were fucking stupid. No, dude, if Cram Gordon weren't in there, he'd be talking to you, talking to other ones. No, they are. They yeah, they were useless. Yes, men. That was it. Yes, and that's it. Let's do this. No. Yeah, whatever he said, there we go. That's what they're doing. No thought. Uh, no thought of their own. No will of their own. No nothing. No, they're just garbage characters. All right. Now, that means here, the person I chose for the worst character was Wormtail, Peter Pettigrew, dude who fucking dimed out his best friends and then spent over a decade as a pet rat because uh, he's a fucking coward and fucking because no, I couldn't own for his shit. A pet rat for the yeah. rat. Yes. No, yeah. And he, oh my gosh, dude. I can't say how much I hate this character. There's only one other character in the book in the whole series that I hate more than this dude right here. Um, he's a straight piece of shit, and I wish that I wish that at the end of a yeah, uh, at the end of Prison of Escaban, when he turns him back into a rat, I wish they would have fucking, I wish they would have caught his ass and fell in the fish's cat. Uh, dude, he he's a piece of shit. Fuck him. When it when it comes to Peter Pettigrew, um, yeah, he's a rat. He's a little bitch. Um, he got he got his his good friends killed because you know for those who don't know he basically led Voldemort to um, Harry's parents. Um, but let's be he real. Told them where he was. Let, let's let's be real. I'm only sad that the mom got killed because that his dad was a bitch too. Um, but that's a whole oh, different conversation. That's a home different nah, conversation. No, door, homie, might as well no, no. Like, he's my other honorable, he's my other honorable mention. I didn't get to, we his, so his, 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 his dad. His dad mention. was the shit person. Let's be fucking as a teenager. Oh, okay, that you 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 point teenage teenage James was a shit person, but yeah, still, but so was a lot of people. But still, right. uh, with, with that being said, <laughs> specifically about Peter Pettigrew, um, I definitely believe there are worse people here. Peter Pettigrew was just a bitch. That's all it was. Um, 
he he was just he was just a bitch who was who was willing to snake out everyone anyone and everyone around him to gain favor with the fucking with the dark lord's good graces um and, and let's be real the dark lord rewarded him for being such a loyal servant he gave him his hand back after it got cut off um, it, it's, it, he's kind of like with what, with, with what Crab and Goyle along the lines for what you were saying, CJ, were he, he's just, he was a yes man. He's like, whatever, whatever Voldy asked him to do, you got it. I'm going to snake out my best friends. I'm going to snake out everybody. Best part was, is he led, uh, he, he semi led Harry and everybody to meet Sirius for the first time. And that's when that whole situation started. So Peter Pettigrew, I think there's definitely worse people involved with the dark Lord, but you know he's he, uh, aptly named. He he got turned into a rat because he was a little rat. So to kind of backtrack and hopefully get always where this started, I disagree with you thinking that Peter Pettigrew is like Crab and Goyle. Crab and Goyle are henchmen. Peter Pettigrew is on whatever side that he thinks is winning. He was cool with his best friends. They used to protect him. As soon as he looked like they was about to lose, and Voldemort was taking like getting big, he flipped sides, snitched, ended up getting them killed. And then didn't even want to face him for real. Cut his own finger off, turned into a rat, spent the rest of like 10 fucking years or some shit like that. Being a fucking rat versus you. He rather live his life as a rat optionally than actually <laughs> face. Like he's, this, he chose he wants that to shit. Him. He chose this shit for 10 years plus instead of just manning up. He is definitely a bitch. Like, there's no other word that could ever describe this little lump of a man. He's a bitch. Like, he's a whole bitch. And Voldemort yeah. even called him out on it, too. Yeah. And to be honest, yeah. it, it wasn't even like, oh, he's a yes man. He's the whatever side that he thinks he's going to find protection on and that's going to keep him safe. That's, the, that's, the, that's where he's going to be at. He's a punk in every way fucking possible. Like, and end up getting him killed, which I feel like is fitting. Um, but to be honest, I feel like he went out too easy. Like, like, like Thank I. Thank you. I was like, just thinking that. Look, I come from the hood. Like snitches, do you, mm, rats? They don't listen. You're supposed to get hung by your fucking knuckles and then punished. <laughs> like, so yeah, I. Peter Pettigrew definitely is trash. Um, I don't think he's absolutely the worst because he's just a coward. Like you know what I mean? Like it's just the effects of being that big of a fucking coward um but either either way either wrong not well either harry or neville would have died one of them would have become the chosen one the prophecy would have fulfilled itself somehow um because he's a coward uh, <laughs> it ended up being his friend's kid when it could have been somebody else's kid really though he was kind of they weren't best friends but they knew the other parents anyway but anyway that's the other hand right there but i don't think he's the worst in the whole thing because cowardice is pretty common we probably all know a punk ass bitch or a Judas around somewhere. Like I, I don't respect him. I don't like him, but I don't think he's the absolute worst out of the entire series and books and movies and everything. He just a punk ass bitch. What everybody said is is hundred percent correct. Do I like this motherfucker? No. Is he the worst? No. Cause because how he died. Cause he he, he got he got what's coming to what, what came to him. I mean, most people. Did, but... Is that you? <laughs> So um, most people, most, most people got what come with them coming to him. However, I mean, this motherfucker got what coming to him. Like it, 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 just, it just came full circle for him. He got so, his comeuppance for real. So, so yeah, uh, he, he's a rat, uh, and then he was a rat, <laughs> and and then it, it, it just went full circle. All right. So, yeah, uh, no, it's not, it's not the worst. Do I like his ass? No. However, I mean, no, he's not the worst. I do have one honorable mention um, that hasn't been said as of yet, and I don't think it, I don't know if it will be said. Um, he's a minor character, um, but he's a fucking dick. Um, his name <laughs> is Fender Grayback. Okay, he's yes. a werewolf. Grayback, he's yeah, a shit person or being. Um, so that's my honorable mention. To be honest, every character is. <laughs> fucking flawed somehow but there's some there so many fucked up characters in there, show. yeah but there's some that are made to just be fucked up and he's definitely one of them um and then another honorable mention because i don't know if anybody actually says it voldemort voldemort's he's sick in the head um yeah. if that's not fucking obvious um he has mental issues it's evident 
okay? Um, so much so that he kills his own family members, I believe, um, before even getting to Harry. Or like, yeah, yeah before even getting to Harry. Yeah. Um, that's what that's what them big Voldemort or fucking uh, Malfoy because they're meant to be that way. Uh, yeah, that's it was, it was like, set up for them to be done. That's why I didn't pick them. I'm like, it almost didn't need to be said because, like, obviously he's evil because, like, that's the whole point. But just in case, um, but my choice um, is actually Petunia Dursley. I hate this bitch, <laughs> and the reason why I hate this bitch is because, <laughs> like. She put Harry at a deficit his entire fucking life over some old shit she was jealous about with her sister from when she was a kid, bro. She carried that shit all the way into adulthood, all the way into marriage, all even past the losing her own sister, which later you come find she actually has feelings she is sad about. But you treat your own sister's kid like dirt. You lie to him so much so that when he does actually have to step into the wizarding world, he don't know what the fuck is going on. He has to be told everything from fucking strangers. Do you know how horrible that is to find out somebody at your house knew something and didn't fucking tell you and let you go out in the streets looking like a dumbass? Like that, what the, what is wrong with you? Like who does that? Yo, out of spite for someone else, the kid did nothing to you. Like, and on top of she ugly. Like, 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 <laughs> on top of it all, you just took as this. You have no room to be talking about nobody. Like, nobody. Like, I, she, re- she really, she really pissed me off because, like, she could have changed the whole Harry Potter storyline by herself. Had she raised him, let him let him know he was a wizard, the entire storyline would have been fucking different, even if his mom still died. And so I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And you know someone hunted your sister. You know what really happened to her. Like, she she pissed me off. She pisses me off because she's a pivotal person and she just like she's an asshole like <laughs> she had no reason for it like other people that like and granted there are small reasons but like 20 years later bitch let it go like this is not like deep psychological issues or none of that you decided to be petty for 20 years that's like that bitch from catfish going well you shouldn't call me a fat ass kitty price why did you carry that so long like why did you do all this <laughs> shit <laughs> you know <laughs> It's along the same lines, but like deeper. Wow. Like, why are you, th- bro? It got to, like it's it's. She's fucking horrible. She's horrible. She's horrible. I hate it. Out of everybody, the when they can't when they when they we chose who we gonna pick, Cam did hers last. And I'm not trying to snitch, but it, it, that's what happened. I'm gonna get this. I can't fuck with it. I, I'm gonna. I can't fuck Ooh. with it. And, and, and here's why, right? With a person. Like me, and it's gonna get a little deep. The person like me that grew up in foster care, mm. and it's black, one. so know what slave was, know what a slave mentality is. Like, didn't have his mom when he grew up, wanted to be with family. Then seeing like shit like Harry Potter, when your family don't give a shit about you, and have that slave mentality, locks you in a fucking cupboard. His room, I'll give a damn. Call the clock. That's a that's 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 that is, that's small as shit. And they had an extra bedroom. Yes. Locks you away. Because he goes into it. He goes into it in the second movie. Mm-hmm. They don't. Yeah. yeah. No, they give to the son. That's his extra bedroom. They they don't tell Harry who he is. Harry doesn't know anything about his family. And again, being we're going to foster care. I mean, I go I, I go and foster, I start foster care when I was eleven. I still don't know a lot of my family. Even seeing my family, see my family now, or touch my family now, is weird to me. And this hits a little bit home too hard because she was a dick, like like Kim said, she was a dick to her own people, her own flesh and blood, her own people. Jesus. Your sister who passed away, kid, 
your nephew and use a whole bastard to him. So, yeah, it's a little bit deep for me. However, this definitely is my armor mention. I mean, my, sorry, this definitely is my I can't fuck with it. This bitch is a piece of shit. It really is. Her and her husband. Fuck them both. Yeah. Now, I don't hate them as much as I hate fucking Warm Tone, but at the same time, they are horrible people. Um, hi, there's, there's no way in hell you should be treating your own family like that. Uh, they, 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 you know, they, could, you know, they could have did so much for him. Like, how you gonna, how you gonna let the motherfucker in a fucking closet under the stairs, in a little cupboard under the stairs? Well, you got a whole other bedroom for him. Like, you know, why, you know, why did this fucking fat, stupid, goofy motherfucker need two bedrooms? That's fucking bullshit. You know, I, well, this, uh, I, she's a character that I just can't even wrap my head around. That's, you know, I don't get it, don't understand it. Because you know, I would never imagine doing something like that to a person, you know, to a kid who's done absolutely nothing wrong to you. But then on top of that, being your family. Uh, and he was single, though. Like, he went, he put them into like, he sent them away so that they could be protected. And I was like, they don't deserve that shit. Like, he let them hell no. Protected. If they die, they die. No, exactly. Yep. Right after I left, I put conjured a big old neon sign with a fucking arrow pointing right down to the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Harry, yeah. Potter. Harry, Harry, Potter's, Harry Potter's Harry Potter's family, right here. Harry Potter's family. Interesting. My, I have an interesting take on the Dursleys and themselves. I know we're talking about Petunia specifically. I really would be interested to see if Petunia's situation would have been different had she not married Vernon. Because I definitely think that Vernon added so much fuel to that fire as being a, a spiteful, disgusting human himself. Imagine if she would have married someone who was nice. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if that whole situation... Like, I, I know that Petunia held ill will towards her sister because of the, the, the special treatment her sister got, but I wonder if in the time since her sister died, if she was with someone who wasn't as much of an animal as, as Vernon was, would it have been different? We will never know, obviously. Um, I don't know if she would ever pick someone like that. I feel like the character... You, you, you're you probably right. She may not ever pick like that, but I've, that's always been in the back of my head. Yeah, is, Vernon was is, a fucking bigot. Is Petunia's, is Petunia's like, like anger and all that shit and her her meanness and all that is that all just a, just an amplification of how spiteful and how arrogant vernon is as well so i you know because uh, my biggest thing with that is um P petunia definitely was a, a bitch she was jealous of her sister period point blank um if, if it was flipped fucking they wouldn't I don't think Petunia would be as crazy because obviously if she was the one that got the special treatment, I wouldn't see Lily being that way. With that being said, real quick, I want to do a shout out to someone who I think had a huge character growth throughout the entire film franchise. By the end of it was Dudley. Dudley started out as that little shithead asshole fucker, but then by the end, Harry had a mutual respect for Dudley. And even like Dudley was like, sorry. By the end of the movie, the very D end. Dudley and Harry are on yeah. okay terms at the end because he's just yeah. like, hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for he he basically well, apologized yeah, for what he did. That character pretty much had... comes after he's Harry saves his life. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, I still think Noah has a bigger character growth than he did. But um, no, with I didn't with think him, Neville would survive past the third movie. Fucking Neville. <laughs> God yeah, damn. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I think he. But as far as we're like really quick on the whole husband thing, I think because she. Because she ended up being a muggle, she wanted to be as muggle as fucking possible. Like she went out and found the most boring fucking like she wanted to go complete opposite, if that makes sense. Which drove her yeah. right into the hands of somebody like that fat fuck. Vernon. Vernon. Yeah, no, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and like, he was a bigot. He he hated he hated magic and hated the magic community. He, and I, well, I mean, like he hated anything out of order. Like he was like mm. It was weird. Anyway, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah he, he was Trumpish. But, but I feel like it's almost like she yeah. went after him because he was like that. That and might be. It just yeah. manifested and festered into this ugly thing. Again, so I'm taking evidence on mention. I'm putting Lucius off my foot. Only because, not, I mean, I, I know for a fact that we need bad guys in uh, these kind of movies. However, 
how he treated Dobby. Dobby, my man, my favorite card. I love Dobby, Dobby bro. Let's go. Uh, let me some Dobby. Uh, Master that, has yeah. given Dobby a sock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Think about, no, 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 think about, think about Lucius from the beginning of the series to the end of the series. <laughs> Dobby's yeah. my, Dobby, yeah. my favorite Dobby line. Dobby, Dobby never meant to kill, just to maim or seriously mm-hmm. injure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Dobby's a shit. Yeah. No, but look, no, Lucius was fucking badass at the beginning, and then became a little fucking, a little fucking like bitch. homeless looking punk at the beginning of the, the series. His, his, uh, his wife had bigger, boy. his wife had bigger balls. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah. Baltimore took, took, took his wand. He's like, here, give me your wand. I need another wand. Give me yours. Well, I mean, like, he was also <laughs> just, being punished. Just so, yeah. yeah, no. He you no, know, Voldemort punched him in front of everybody every chance he got. This he the dark lord, yeah. what the fuck you gonna do? Like, he punched everybody. Yeah. Yeah. He punched yeah. everybody. Like, yeah. That's the thing. All right, anyway. So that's what I mentioned. However, <laughs> I'm glad I got I got to, I got to write this first. Uh, because I don't know who I would, I, I probably would have picked uh, my boy if I get get her, Miss uh, <laughs> Umbridge. I'm not saying her full name. Fuck her. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she, she who is not named Umbridge. Fucking <laughs> uh, name. We don't want to say that. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> I hated this pink bitch. Like, god damn it! Uh, yo, real shit. Uh, after that movie, I stopped. Like, like I didn't, I didn't mind pink. I hated pink, and I used to love pink, uh, because of Cameron. Cameron made the impression East Coast. He made pink the the, the, the shit to wear. All right, motherfuckers in Philly was definitely wearing pink. Uh, pink long long t long sleeve uh long tees like five x six x tees. After watching this fucking movie, fuck pink. I was, I was, I was, oh my god, she made me hate a color. She made me hate a cold color. Like, like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't hate pink as much right now, but it's my say, you know, I'm about to wear pink. I go like this. Oh, all right, cool. Like, I, I give him a little stink face. I'm not gonna lie. All right. That that fucking cough she did, yo. <laughs> oh, mm, oh. That bougie. Stuck up, <laughs> I'm better than you. Fucking cough. That that's what that was. <laughs> like oh my, okay. Uh, the, 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 that cough is the meaning of white privilege. Like that 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 cough right there <laughs> is the meaning of white privilege. Nail on the head. Yeah. She was cool with. She was cool actually. No, no reason I hate her. She was cool with with, with, bull, with bullying. Like she made slivering like the, the the head the people and they think the fuck fuck with people all the time, and like and she, bullying she, and snitching and snitching, all right, bullying and snitching. She sent the the the, uh, the mentor after uh, after her, which you know started that whole the whole shit. And she wait, uh, you mean like the second time? Yeah, the second time. Yeah. Okay. Which started the, started that whole shit and fuck this pink bitch. Fuck this pink bitch. Fuck this pink bitch. <laughs> I'm keep saying that shit. And this, yeah, you got to it. You got to it right as I was typing it. I was mad as hell. <laughs> I was mad as fuck. I was typing that shit. Dude. All right, yo. All right, fuck. Fuck. Um, oh, fuck this bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> fuck this bitch. <laughs> like, she, you know, she is like a garbage person. No redeeming qualities whatsoever. None. This is why I can't fuck with it. I get scared. I can't fuck with it. Uh, she's the number one other than I hate in the entire series, and I'm just I, I can't express how much I hate this bitch. But I just wanted to finish when the uh, centaurs grabbed her. Mm-hmm. I I saw one of them to just throw her on the ground and you mm-hmm. start fucking river dancing on that bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, and do 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 just fucking all hooves just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, all hooves. Just forget that bitch, dude. Fuck her. Yo, Fuck so, her. No. So, so <laughs> this character is so hated that the person that actually played, I forgot her name, that person that actually played uh, Umbridge says she almost quit a couple times. Like, like she said, she almost quit on set a couple times on she hated the hated fucking character. Yo. Yeah. Uh, dude, dude, she don't, she don't, she not only, no, she not only set up a culture where, you know, yeah, where bullying and stitching was, was great and rewarded. She tortured kids. And tortured the shit out of them. Yeah, she tortured tortured adults. Them. Tortured oh, adults. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, kicking adults out of their fucking home. Mm. 
Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. she's a straight bully herself. Fucking like, little fucking prissy, proper ass fucking bitch. <laughs> Obviously, I can't fuck with it. Um, this <laughs> yeah. would have been my pick, too. Um, listen, um, there's only one thing I can say about this, and I can't say it very well, but Young Dro can. Now, listen, um, I'm going to leave it at that because Dolores Umbridge is arguably one of the most hated characters in all, anything. Um, I've heard many Didn't people, I've heard people compare her to fucking Joffrey Baratheon mm. or Ramsey Bolton from Game of Thrones. And those are two of the worst, baddest motherfuckers on the planet. So, definitely um, so, so I can't, I can't fuck with it. I really can't. I'm gonna leave it at that because see, everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna say the same shit, and it's just gonna get old because we all say the same shit. Yeah, everyone keep on getting mad and mad. Like, uh huh. So I, I can't <laughs> fuck with it. Dolores Umbridge is in fact the prob- probably one of the worst people in the entire Harry Potter universe, as far as for like the books and the movies. She's a deplorable person. Um, Dolores Umbridge is pretty much the epitome of what happens when you give an entitled white privilege as bitch power. This is exactly what the fuck happens, okay? Um, it happens now without magic. So I don't know why anyone was fucking surprised. Uh, magic uh, I can't even get up to somewhere like president. A uh, magic Karen. That's what she was. Mm-hmm. I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Karen. She's just an empowered Karen. She's like a she, she's like a, a Karen that works in you know can the I, government. Like she's and we have those. Those exist. Like, can I, I won't speak say with nobody. Your we're not we're not a political show. The first time, of course, you're just like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Like, but then like when you think about her her character, like it makes sense. Everything she fucking does makes complete sense. She likes being in power. She likes being in control and she will ruin anything in her way that doesn't allow that, including these little mangy ass kids. She don't even like kids. She only went. Yeah, she's straight up saying she hates kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only reason she went is because literally the minister of magic sent her. Um, and she's, a, I'm assuming she's a social climber. And so she did what she had to do, thinking she was going, it was going to be a come up for her. And, they, and then they came and made her life. Yeah. And so she was like, oh, okay, bad. I got something for that ass. And but yeah, she I can't fuck with it. She's 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 horrible. I don't know anyone who wouldn't punch this bitch in the face given the opportunity. <laughs> like I, 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 to be honest, to be honest, I if they did like a Harry Potter carnival, people would probably pay to throw pies or punch somebody dressed like this person. Um, you can make a, f- a ton of fucking money just doing that because don't everybody you. fucking get it punched. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think it'll be legal to be able to punch him, but uh, well, yeah, you, but you know what I mean. Like, if it if it yeah. were, we would do it. Like oh, even yeah. if like, how even much? they said how yeah. much. Listen, it's a carnival. If you pay ten bucks to punch a bitch in the face, you would do it. I'm giving you a hundred and move back. <laughs> move back. Think about how yeah. happy the thought makes you. Yeah. So I'm just like. She's she's absolutely hated. What I don't like is that the centaurs don't kill her, um, mm-hmm. and she ends up being, she ends up the, like coming on back. The face. I didn't see the point of her being needed in the rest of the story. They could have fucking killed her off, and I would have been cool with that. Plenty of people fucking died in Harry Potter. I feel like she should have been one of them. Most of um, the guys. With that being said, I do like the fact that she's one person that pretty much everyone can rally against, which is always nice. It brings people <laughs> together. So I will put, oh, yeah, so I'll put Dolores Umbridge first. Um, even though she, she's only in one book. Um, actually, no, no. I have to put Petunia Dursley first because she literally would have affected the entire series had she not been a fucking bitch. Um, so I'm putting Petunia first. Um, and then it will be uh, Dolores Umbridge, close second. And then, whew. Wormtail and then Harry Potter. Oh, I'm going to put uh, Dolores first, because fuck that beat. Um, then I'm going to put Harry, because that's just my personal preference. 
Um, then I'm gonna put Petunia, and then I'll put Wormtail. I gotta put you gotta put Dolores first, and then you know, good argument. I'm gonna put Petunia second, uh, then Wormtail third, and I'm gonna Harry fourth. I picked Dolores. Uh, just because I, I knew that's going to be universal answer. I mean, that's that's, that's what it is. However, though, <laughs> everybody hate that. <laughs> yeah, how, how, however, though, I'm actually going to put between you first. I'm going to put it between you first. Because uh, I, 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 I had to think about it. No, because because personal reasons, personal reasons, like my own personal life, I got. Yeah. All right. Understandable. If 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 you didn't say you said anybody else, then obviously uh, Umbridge. Uh, fucking pink bitch would have went fir- first. However, <laughs> the lawyers. Fucking pink bitch. The lawyers first. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Petunia first, then uh, Umbridge, um, then the Wormtail, and then Harry Potter. With that being said, stay tuned for next week where we're talking about the best fictional game in the movie or cinema. Say that. Uh, best what? best sports movie and the best movie soundtrack. All right. With that being said, uh, free Pepper Le Pew. My name is DeAndre Robinson. These are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, <laughs> say goodbye for it. <laughs> uh, once again, it's your boy Evan Hemataki, aka the Stem Reaper. Have a good night, guys. All right, friends, uh, it's Cam. Um, I disagree with DeAndre. Pepe Le Pew is what most of you people thought was okay to be doing. To push oh, up boy, off. we, we ain't right? getting into we this conversation. Like we didn't like it. All right, let it go. All right, and he let wasn't even a major character. Nobody remembered him till we canceled him. Uh, and I say we loosely because I wasn't involved and I really don't mean that cancel shit. Um, but yeah, you guys have a good time. Be safe. Don't forget to send your dollar from your stimulus and you enjoy the rest. All right. Hey, this is your boy CJ, a.k.a. Dobby's best friend. All right. And we out. We'll see y'all next week. Yes. Uh, free Pepley and free Johnny Bravo. All right. Peace out. Oh, <laughs> Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs>